We're a small channel, we're a hobby channel. Every subscription counts, every like counts, every comment counts. If you want to help this channel grow, then please consider doing any one of those free and it will help with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you, thank you very much. So this video, this video is back to front. And by back to front, what do I mean? Well, we have to look to the future before we show you the past. And this is a game called Shapes 2. And this is a video that we're actually gonna do this. Let me explain a little bit more. What you can see here is a vortex. And this vortex has one mission in life, is to swallow shapes. It literally wants to swallow shapes. And they can be all different types of shapes, but they've got to be certain shapes, um, correctly cut, correctly positioned for it to swallow. And this vortex is in the middle of a huge universe. Let's take a look back here. And this is the universe, and it is absolutely massive. You know, we're moving around here, and you know, it is so, so big. And we have these little islands and these little platforms. You know, this has got some shapes. This one's has got some green ones on here. Um, let's have a look here. This has got uh, blue ones here with some funny little uh, didgeridoo bits hanging off the edge there. So, you know, the universe is indeed a massive, massive place. But we're going to go home here, because the center of the universe is this particular vortex and what you've got to do is you've got to mine shapes and how do you mine shapes well you have to extract them and if we have a look here where we try and scroll down you can see these extractors going on here so these are digging circle shapes and then having a look here these are digging square shapes and what you do what you do is you basically mix all these shapes together to create different things so if we go down here and have a look here oh, it's jumping about a bit you know, you've got these shapes that are being thrown into the vortex. Uh, look, well, we have a look here. You know, all these different cuttings, all these different positions. And they all start. They all start from platforms like here. And every story has a beginning. This story had the beginning on this platform. Now, what I want to do is just show you a little bit. Oh, it scrolls, scrolls so hard violently, doesn't it? I want to scroll a little round and show you a few different things that's actually going on. This is a really, really relaxing game and a great game. But by I mean we have to go to the future first before we look to the past. This very setup that you're seeing, this huge, huge setup that you're seeing, um, when we finish having a quick look at this, what we're going to do is we are going to do the tutorial for this as well. And you'll see exactly how this was all built obviously not all of it because it took a long time to do but we will start off effectively from this particular platform here that will be the first one that we'll be built and then this one gets built as well i believe um during the starting game and that one and that one if i recall that added a little bit later so you won't see those in the tutorial but yeah this is a game this is a factory game where you have to think design roads design puzzles and the tutorial is great and by roads and puzzles i mean conveyor belts and you've got to puzzle your way around this whole area so if we take a look at the journey of one of these squares these squares shoot across from here and they land on this conveyor belt now this is a junction here so some get pushed some that way some get pushed this way if we follow these ones here every other one gets pushed to the left and it gets in here where it gets cut it then gets rotated um, it then gets cut again and it gets sent back into the main um, journey that we've got here as it goes up here um, it could be pushed and end up going down here where it went and then we go all the way here and it gets flown into the mix that's a rather boring one to have a look at but that would have been needed at some point um, where else can we have a look at yep let's have a look at these circles here these circles are flying off here every other one gets pushed here if it can go that way but this is stacked in a little bit busy here that is a stacker so what this does is it basically takes two rows of shapes and if we see a shape come down here let's watch and wait a little moment there might be one coming down soon there we go watch this shape here just under there and it's going to arrive under there and that's going to drop that on that top shape there and it'll move across here now it drops it and boom it is stacked so that shape is going to carry on its journey and it will go along here and it'll get lifted up in the air as it goes on this conveyor belt and it moves all the way down to be dropped off and you'll see it appear here very shortly come on where are you where are you there we are there we are we'll see it in a moment appear down there and it will go along and it will get eventually 
thrown into the vortex so you can see this and there's all these other shapes of things going on as well so to explain what's going on this vortex is hungry for shapes the whole purpose of this vortex is to eat shapes here i'm using this on the pc and if you have a look here we've basically got milestones to do so you know i've done all the early ones which was create these shapes i'm now creating these shapes and you can see the counters 248 or 320, 320 or 320, 227 or 640, 106, now 107 of uh, 960. So yeah, all of this adds up and you see the pin tasks here, which are basically these shapes that you want to do or some of the tasks that you have um, to be a little more accurate that you have here. So not only do you have to do the milestones, actually we go back, we go back, go back. Not only do you have to do the milestones to move on to the next level to unlock new stuff, you basically have these subtasks as well and with these subtasks if you complete these you own little bits of potions so these are two research points that one was six research points so if we go back here and we pop back to the main screen if we go over to here uh, what one was it what one was it where is it where is it dear lord i can't find it i can't find it yeah if we have a look here and we do a little bit of rotating the gentleman's pixel club that was done because I went into the research options and I had a few points and I could do upgrades and I basically bought myself this label for four points. You know, I don't have many points to do many upgrades now, but you can increase the speed of your belts, the cutting, the stacking. But overall, overall, this is a great, wonderful game. It's a factory type game to send you a little bit potty, but have a lot of fun. And if this thing appeals to you, it looks overly complex, what we've got now. It really, really does. You should probably be thinking, dear Lord, what have you done this time? But no, what we've done is we've done a little tutorial to actually show you how to do this. So, you know, I spent five or so minutes giving you an overview of what this is. And if this tickles your dingleberries, then take a look at the tutorial. I promise you, it is nowhere near as hard as what it looks i faff about a little bit in the tutorial as well um you know some things i don't get right first time but my job is to actually play games for you so you can see whether it's a game that you like and the tutorial in this instance you know is I, i'm only part of the way through you know i've got so much still to do you know i've got so much unlocks to do and operator certification when you sign up you'll see this in the tutorial um it basically um you've got to complete tasks and when you complete tasks you can get all these upgrades and oh my god there is so many this is a brand new game it's early access it is available on steam for you to have a go at you know i highly recommend this this really really was a lot of fun and i enjoyed my time playing this i absolutely enjoyed my time playing this but yeah no great 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 fun game and you know i think we should take a look at this tutorial now so you can have a look and see whether this is going to be a game for you so that is the tour of the factory now complete what we're going to do now is show you how it began so the very factory that you've just seen we're going to go back effectively a few hours in time and show you how all this hangs together within shapes too so this is the starting screen, the beginning screen. Underneath my button there, you've got support addition and feedback. You know, not important. We can move the camera just to show you that. Boom, there you go. Back again. So it's hiding nothing there at the moment. But we will flip the camera if anything jumps up that we want to be showing you. So we're going to go to play here. And we are going to do no save game found. Use new game. So new game. And untitled save game. We will call this... GPC. Um, so basically what we've got to do is we've got to get an operator certification so it's going to give us quite a few things to do to actually do this then you can move on to these later levels and the key here is we've got to create shapes and it all looks very easy it all sounds very easy but what you've just seen is the the, the factory that we end up at at that point so let's do play to start going and Come on, come on, come on. What's it doing? What's it doing? Here we go. Welcome to your certification. Thank you for signing up. You did sign up, right? So either way, the Vortex requires you to evaluate your factory operator skills before issuing your operator certification. Simply deliver the requested shapes as efficient as possible. That's it. We might reward you with upgrades and techniques based on your performance. Ah, and you can have as many buildings as you want, but please don't damage them. We still need them for the next participant. All right, so we have to sign up here, and I will strive for efficiency and build no 
spaghetti factories. I guess it wants us to do things neat and tidy. And I will not damage any buildings. Well, we're going to say yes to those. We have no choice. And then we're going to do continue. So, basically, how do we do this? How do we control this? All objects need to go into this vortex here. Yeah, that's what we want to do. And we basically need to use extractors to take these particular shapes to put into here. So it's given us a mission, place four extractors, zero of four, and it's highlighting where it wants them to go. So I guess we click on that and we can hit the R key to rotate. And it wants us to be efficient. It wants us to be efficient. So, you know, let's put one going that way. Let's put one going that way, one going that way, and one going that way. Perfect. And now it wants us to do a conveyor belt. And this is a conveyor belt to take these um, uh, these circle things that it's going to pull up, these extractors are going to pull up into the vortex here. Now, it wants us to do this particular path here. And it said be efficient. I remember it saying be efficient. So we're going to click on the conveyor belt and we get a little demo of how to draw. Um, so you do C for conveyor belt. Oh no, yep, C for conveyor belt. Come on, and can we draw them? Yes, click on that. And we can basically draw. And for efficiency, it's saying that it won't, oh, no, no, we go to there. And then we go down here. And then we go this way, yes. And look at this, we're going the way it wanted us to go, obviously through the back door here. And you can see our little circles moving quite happily. And we get to this bit and it creates some kind of jump. So if we watch this very carefully, um, we can move the camera. Uh, how do we move the camera up and down? We oh, don't know how to do that. Uh, right, so we'll watch them jump. And there they go, they jump across there. Now, we need to take it to this vortex to get rid of those. So what we're going to do is we're going to do conveyor belt. And we're going to drag them all the way across. And that should be it, that should be it. So, open the knowledge panel to review past instructions. All right, we're not going to do that for the moment. We are going to go here. And I'm just looking to see um, how I can pan up and down. Rotate camera, hold and move. There we go. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Look at them. So we're going to feed all these little circle things into here. Ready, ready, ready. And there they go. There they fly. Fly my babies. All right, so open the knowledge panel to review past instructions. Click on the question mark. Welcome to your certification. What was that beep noise? Oh, we've done a milestone. All right, place three half destroyers to cut shapes in half. So yeah, it's not 100% happy with these shapes. Those are going in, but it wants to have half shapes as well. So what we're going to do now, we need to cut these in half. So I think we're going to go here. Because remember, we, we, we have to be efficient. And we are going to draw a conveyor belt over here. Yes. Perfect. Okay, why are some of you not going that way? Oh, you are going that way. Good, good, good. And we're going to go here. And what we're going to do, remember, this is all in efficiency, remember? Okay, it wants us to to put a cutter there. So the cutter goes there. And more conveyor belts go here. They go all the way back here. So what we're doing, we're very neatly chopping these. You know, let, let, let's view this, let's view this. We're very neatly chopping those into there. So it now wants 40 of those to land in here. So how do we get rid of that? Can we get rid of that? I don't know. Let's click on that. Here they go, here they go, here they go. So we should see this number start to go up very shortly. Come on, come on, come on. There you go, one of 40. Soon to be two of 40, brilliant. And I see squares as well. All right, so we've got to do something with squares. So conveyor belt, how do we get rid of that? Question mark, do we want to get rid of that? Yes, we do. I place anchors with sea while dragging about. We've done that. We've done that. What, 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 why is that? Why is that help still there? All right. Maybe we got to do a bit more. Maybe we, so. Place anchors with sea while dragging about. No, it's there. We don't know why this is here. 
Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, we're not doing this as well as we can. All right, so how can we delete this stuff? Oh, wait, I go delete there. All right, so if we highlight... Oh, 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 no, no, no. If we highlight that and do delete, that's not the efficient way to do it. But look at this belt here. So we can go, where can we go? We can go here, conveyor belt. And we can do a belt launcher. And we can, no, that's wrong. Delete that. Let's do it again. Belt launcher. So tab to switch variants. R to rotate. There you go. And that goes over to there now, so they stack up there. So we can then do tab to change different things, and we can build. There you go. So look at this efficiency. We have now got these shooting across here. Beautiful, beautiful, and they're coming across there. In fact, no, let, let's, let's delete that. No, come on, come on, come on. Damn it. All right, so right hold down to get rid of it. All right, so what we want to do now is because these are going off to be cut and they left that bit there, we need to put them in the most sensible place possible. So we go, oh, no, no, we're going to drag that net. No, that's wrong. Get rid of all of that. Right, now we drag. Well, no, we don't. We click on you. We'll get the hang of this shortly. This is the first time of doing this. Okay. Right. Come on. Tab. Click on that. Click on you. And we are going to put you back there. Oh, it's not joined up. There it is now. So what we've done, we've been really, really efficient here. Um, we have sent these things down here. And they're coming across here, they're going around here, and they are, these aren't going up. Oh, they are going up, they are going up. Yep, so they come around here and join the queue pretty much where they left, so they can then be flung into the vortex. Efficiency is our number one goal here. All right, so place three half destroyers to cut shapes into half. Okay, it wants us to do more of them. Okay, um, I don't know why we want to do that. Why do we want to do more half destroyers? Bollocks. You know, we, we, we don't need these. We don't need these, but it wants us to put them there. All right, so. Cut. Half destroyer. Yes. All right, okay, so that's done. All right, we've done that. And now it's saying deliver the half circle. So we're allowing it to do that. But you know what? Can we get rid of these now? Oh, no, no, no. It bloody wants us to leave them there. All right. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It wants us to cut things again. So you know what? Why don't we put... Why don't we... Oh, no, no, wrong place. Delete that, delete that. God, I'm making a pig's ear of it. So, you know, we're watching me learn at the same time. So, if it wants shapes, shapes cut in half. Oh, these are really stacked up here, aren't they? You know what? If it wants shapes cut in half, well, why don't we get rid of this problem that we've got here? So, we are going to rotate this. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, no, no. Right, click delete, delete, delete. Pig's ear, pig's ear time, pig's ear time. All right, so we are going to take that. No, come on. Stop doing that. That's what we want. No, tab, save conveyor. Shape processing, shift one. Well, it's been a real dick at the moment. It's been a real dick at the moment. So, you know, we're just going to put one there. 
and one there. Right, okay, we're going to let that be happy. All right, so this is not an ideal game. Why not extract some squares? All right, so let's go down here. Okay, now extractable is this. And we will we'll rotate these. Okay, and it wants squares. So we then click on that for our road, our conveyor belt. There we go. Gone wrong, it's gone wrong, it's gone wrong there. Alright, so conveyor belt. Come on. Alright, okay. Ah, what's it want us to do? Alright, it wants us to deliver squares. So there, conveyor belt. Perfect, and all these squares land on here, and it wanted efficiency. There we go, and we can now take this and join our other bits up here. Right, there we go, so we're nice and tidy now. We've got all these circles doing their magic stuff. We've got all these squares efficiently on their journey to be thrown into the vortex. So, okay, so it wants us to, what does it want us to do? Rotate and cut again to produce quarter circles. All right, so how can we do this? How can we do this? We're going to take this conveyor belt here. We're going to rotate that belt and we are going to come up here to there. All right, so it wants us to rotate. So we take a rotating machine and put it there. And it wants another cutter. And we put that there. And I think for efficiency, we join that. Oh, that, oh, that didn't link up, did it? All right, so let's click on that. There we go. All right, so we should see these slowly start to change as well as our squares are quite happily going in. Right, come on, come on, chop, 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 chop. I want to see these numbers start to go up. So, there they rotate, yes. The vortex accepts any shape rotation, good. And it's going round, and it's coming round here. And look at this, it's perfect, it's optimal. It's optimal, because by the time it does the job, everything is done, and we should get a one in a moment time. Yes, perfect. All right, so it also wants us to cut these as well. So what we're going to do, we are going to we're we're, we're going to we're, we're going to get a cutter. We're going to get a road, a belt. Oh no, that's wrong. Right, we're going to get a belt. Come out of there, and it wants us to cut these squares as well. So let's go for this cutter. Oh, what have I done? Oh, what have I done? Does Control Z work? Please work. Okay, that's what happens when you don't let go of the mouse. Right, okay, we're going to take this cutter. And we're going to put it there. So that will cut a square. Push the square up. So we will start these going as well. Can I click, click on that to get rid of that? Come on. Yes, so our glorious factory. You know, it's very efficient. You know, all of this is on a single road, which is good. And then you've got all these items going along here. So half destroyed, destroys the west half of any shape. 
All right, milestone, deliver the remaining shapes. It's going to take a little while to do this. So, you know, we probably could have been a bit better on some of this design, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, you know, we've got plenty of stuff going on here. You know, we, 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 could, we could actually... We, we could help it out a little bit, I think. Shall we help it out? Yes, let's help it out. So, let's give... That can go there. And we're going to take another cutter. And that cutter can go there. I'm going to take another road. Conveyor belt and put it there. So, there we go. We've got double of these going through. Now, we can... Yeah, this may this maybe isn't as quick as it needs to be as well. Let's take some of these. Let's take some of these. And what we're gonna do is Yeah, we're gonna put those there. And then we're gonna come down here. And then because it wants these as well, which we haven't got very many of. Click on there, click on cutter. There you go. And you can come round there. All right, okay. And then, then we need to go all the way over here. Now all the way there, down this way. Don't worry, I'm not mad. I'm absolutely not mad because we have a problem on getting those half shapes where they need to be. So there you go, we got a little jump for them to go for here, and then we can go wee all the way down here, and they can join this for their next jump. So let's watch, let's watch the progress of some of these. Oh, hang on a minute. No, they're not cutting as I wanted. Bollocks. All right, we need a rotator. There you go. Right now, now we will see that rotate. And this one cuts. And we got the little bit that we need and it comes all the way around here. And we're trying to get it here to the to the vortex. So we're gonna watch it on its journey. You know, 39 so far. What number will this one be? Let's see. So it goes up the slope. And it goes thrown all the way over there. And then it comes back around. It's not going to be number 41. It's not going to be 41. But no, this is efficiency here for you because, you know, we're, we're, we're building what we need to be building. Okay, I've just realised, bollocks, it goes through this, doesn't it? So it might have some new difficulties. Let's see whether that actually makes it okay. And this is what factory planning is about. You know, this is being sure that we can build the best version of ourselves in a factory to do different things. Right, here we go. This is the one we've been watching. There he goes. There he goes. Yeah, let's, let's do some nice zooming in on him. Oh, camera out of the way. And he gets destroyed. Well... That is not efficiency. So all the magic that we're doing to do this doesn't work. But hang on a minute. Look, look, look. We've got some number twos that might be going on the journey. Oh, they're not. The number twos are somehow going that way. Ha! Look at this. Look at this. If this had gone here, those might have been cut okay. All right. Well, we're nearly there. We've only got seven more through our, our, our organised cut. If I can't even see... Yeah, it's gonna be it's gotta be some here. Right, how are they getting in there? Uh where are those how are those halves getting there? It's that they're going up, it's on 53 at the moment. What is going on? Hang on a minute. Yep, 
Yeah, you know what? We need is stuck on 53. We have somehow broken this. So we are going to go and get another rotator. Oh, no, we're not over there. Oh, stop, stop. Oh, I lost control of it. I lost control of it. All right, click on there. Click on the rotator. And we're going to put one there and one there. There we go. So we're going to see whether this little guy here works. He goes through. He turns. He turns. He turns and the cutter will miss him. He lives. He lives. By the being of God, he lives. All right, so we have fixed this. We are the factory master. And that shows what uh, adding a, a simple little thing can do to fix a problem. So in a moment, that will go to 54. So this is the kind of thing we're going to have to worry about in this game. In Let's not dig this up too much. All right, so milestone, there you go, 54, soon to be 55. Because look, here they come, here they come. They're like buses, aren't they? You see none of them, then loads of them all come at once. Into the vortex you fall. There you go. Okay, so four more, and we've done this milestone. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. A shape goal has been completed. You can now produce the next shape. All right, what's this up there? So we've done all those. Um, so a milestone has been completed. That, 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 and that. So now we've got new shapes that we can do. Let's do unlock. So you're rewarded stacker and second floor allowing you to stack shapes and build multi-layer factories. Let's see what you can do with them. So this looks like something of the future that we can build. All right, do we buy them? I don't know, more information. All right, so stacking shapes. Shapes can be combined through stacking, which enables the production of shapes with multiple layers. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. So, you know, this is gonna be the way forward and it's gonna build and it's gonna design on everything that you've seen. But I've shown you a brief tutorial of how this works. You saw where we were, you know, now effectively at the beginning of the video and we did a little tutorial and we carry on building that factory to get to where we were at the beginning of this video this has been shapes 2 this is the gentleman's pixel club this was a tutorial of basically a top level view of how it all works hope you enjoyed the video stay safe take care and i'll see you soon goodbye gentlemen's pixel club the ultimate game channel on YouTube.